Your team is picking. Chivalry is dead. Ready? Go! I am the moonlight that breaks through the darkness. This is one of those games that will look extremely hopeless from the draft pick until the very late game. But before I continue, a quick shout out to the amazing sponsor of this video. Mech Arena is the ultimate PvP mech shooting game that's casual and very fast paced and at the same time is incredible fun to just look at. It requires not only good aiming but also tactics as well because you can also use mech's ability to outplay your opponent. They just had a huge update and they released the pilots feature with 12 completely brand new pilots to choose from. Each one has a variety of unique skills and strategy that will bring a new level to depth to the gameplay. Customize them according to your playstyle and to your favorite mechs, try all sorts of different builds and find out which ones to use the best. Personally, I like using guns that shoot really fast like assault rifles, it's just more fun to keep shooting. Also, they are adding a lot of new stuff for this month such as a brand new mech and another pilot as well. The game is completely free to play on both Android and iOS and if you are using my personal link or scan the QR code on the screen, you will receive the Steel Reaper skin along with 508 coins and 70,000 credits. This is my player ID and maybe we can play some matches together if I'm online. Recently, I posted a game where I had 4 marksmen in my team, but the difference is that this one we won't have a great early game marksman like Beatrix and Kimi. Needless to say, we won't have a tank either. Also, this time, the marksmen are a bit more inexperienced than in that previous match. Anyway, in this game, I will be playing Aurora with the new revamped Lunar skin. After the buff, she is actually a pretty decent mage in certain matchup. Now she can activate her passive way easier and more frequently. There's no point trying to contest the lead though. Not only do they have an extremely powerful early game mage, Lilia but it's going to be a 2v3 as well. Klim seems to have given up already, but I definitely don't blame him. This just looks like a waste of time. Well, at least our jungler managed to kill their jungler. This is a positive. I should have known better, Aurora cannot one shot until she has Clog of Destiny and Lightning Truncheon. Rookie mistake.
heart. I could chase him and wait for my flicker to be up, but since their bottom laner, Paquito, is missing, this is not worth the chase. Also, by the time the flicker is ready, Harley might have his dash again. We can see that Kufra is on the left side, which means he will most likely hide around that area. Gotta pay attention to these little details because they can tell a lot about the enemy's positioning. The start that was very expected, even before the game started. Smiley face. The score is 216. Usually, in other games, in the same situation, I would say that we still have some hope because our composition is quite good for the late game, but unfortunately, this is not the case. We are just doomed. I'm surprised Hanzo just realized this by now. After picking Leila and Mia as the last two picks, it should have been quite obvious. XT Ah, uh, if only Leila could have gone to the gold lane, this would have been a totally different story. Interesting. Three twenty. The gap just keeps increasing. Honestly, at this point, I wasn't even sure if Lilia would have enough time to ult after getting frozen. I haven't had this kind of matchup before. I guess that answers the Lilia question. Anyway, getting that double kill was huge because the lore is pushing our base now, but we can defend it with more ease now that two of them are dead. One step ahead.
initiate retreat. An enemy has been slain. An enemy legendary An ally has been slain. Well, this is probably it. They go Lord and we are down three. At least we didn't give up until the end. Rage on, Hurricane. Under attack. Our turret has been destroyed. Mia is using a rival. They might try to go for her. Why am I trying so hard? Hopefully I can catch somebody off guard. It's very unlikely we can defend the next push if they get the Lord. Their Kufra is down, we should try to fight this. v5 and they're also pushing with the lord it's extremely low to almost non-existent chance at defending this let's try to get a quick kill before they all group up Absolutely no idea what is happening. If we manage to win this one, it's probably going to be at least one of my top 3 best combat games. But it's way too early to celebrate. We are still in an extremely terrible spot.
We absolutely cannot let them have this lord. We 100% are going to lose if that happens. This game was just pure madness. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks and see you in the next video.